Hello, in this video we are going to look at um, how to extrude along a curve and then we're going to also make an animation out of um, an extrusion on a curve. So to start with we'll um, create a curve and we'll click on create curve tools and CV curve tool and we'll just individually click on different points here just to uh, create some sort of curve. Okay, I'll just leave it there and then we'll hit enter and we've got a curve there. Next thing we'll do is we'll create um, a NURBS circle. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to rotate this and we want to rotate it 90 degrees on the x axis. So you can just click on the um, text box next to rotate x, and type in 90, hit enter. And now we're going to grab the Move tool and make sure that you have uh, Snap to Curves on. So click on Snap to Curves to turn it on and we're going to snap it to this curve. All right, so just move it over to the curve and we're dragging on that little circle there, that yellow circle. And now when you um, move it backwards and forwards, you should see that it's snapped to the curve. We'll put it on the end of the curve there. All right, now we've got a CV curve here and we've got a nerve circle. So what we'll do is select the nerve circle, hold down shift and select the curve as well. So we've got both selected and then make sure you're in the modeling menu and then go to surfaces and click on the little um, option box next to extrude, that little square. Okay, in the extrude options, make sure that the style is set to tube Result position is at profile, pivot is closest endpoint, and orientation is path direction. Um, leave all of this as is, and make sure curve range is set to partial, and then output geometry, we can have nerves or polygons, but I'm gonna use polygons. Okay, most important thing is to make sure that curve range is set to partial, okay, because we're going to um, make an animation out of this. So we wanna be able to partially extrude during the animation. All right, click on apply and close. All right, now that has extruded that um, circle. Now what we could actually do, I'll just undo that. Command Z to undo. What we can do is just rotate this circle just a little bit here um, on the Y axis just to make it sort of go in the same direction as that curve. All right, maybe about there. Hold down shift, select it again. Um, Go to surfaces, extrude, all those settings, good. Click on apply and close. That looks a little bit better. You could probably perfect that, but that's fine. All right, now, after you've extruded, you'll notice that over in the channel box, you'll have subcurve one and subcurve two. I want to go down to subcurve two, and basically, in minimum value and maximum value will be zero and one. So if the maximum value is 0 0.5, then it means it's going to extrude to the halfway point. All right, if we change it to 0 0.75, it will extrude three quarters. Okay, and if it's one, it will extrude the whole way along that curve. What you can do on a Mac is hold down Command, click, sorry, click on Max Value first, hold down Command, and then you can scrub backwards and forwards. Oops, just slowly scrub backwards and forwards to see the extrusion. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll animate this. So we'll click on that curve, go down to sub curve two, set the maximum value as zero, hit enter, and then right click on that text box and click on key selected. Um, oops, just undo actually, make sure, we'll actually do this on the first frame. So make sure you're on the first frame on the timeline, set the max value to zero, right click and key selected. Now we're going to move down to the 100th frame. Click on max value, type in one, hit enter, right click while we're still in the 100th frame, the frame, and click on key selected. Now if we go back to the first frame and click on play, we can see that extrusion as an animation. All right, back to the start, click on play, and there you go, there's the extrusion animated.
All right. Um, one thing that you could also do is add a sphere and do a motion path animation of a sphere on the end there so that the um, circle is actually closed on the end there and you don't just see like a hole um, in the end like you see there. All right. That is basically how to extrude along a curve and how to animate an extrusion along a curve. Thanks for watching.